the 20th power because we're doing that four times five. I still have the multiplication right here, but I'm also gonna have to translate z to the third to the seventh into something that I can work with. I know that at exponent ratio to exponent, we multiply that z to the 21st power. After that, I gotta switch properties because no longer do I have an exponent ratio to an exponent, I got common bases being multiplied together. We know that common bases being multiplied is repeated z's. So z 20 z's in a row and 21 z's in a row being multiplied. If I add all that up, that's the same thing as adding together exponents. So if I add together all these z's, that's it, z to the 41st power. Wow, that's a big exponent. Is it doable? Sure. Sure, we, all we have to do is follow those properties down. Would you raise your hand if you're okay on the first two properties? Good deal, all right. Hey, there's one more. There's only one more. It's kind of a combination of, of these things. We're gonna talk about the power of a product. What I mean by that, what this says is, suppose you have, <coughs> suppose you have something that's being multiplied, i.e. a product, inside of a parenthesis that's being raised to an exponent. That's a power of a product. XY, that should mean something to you. What's XY? X times Y. X times Y. Okay, so that, that is definitely a, a product there. Well, let's think about what XY to the third means. XY to the third means what? XY Three times. Yeah. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. yeah. That's to the third power, right? We just repeat that three times and we multiply. Well, hey, you, all, you already told me that this really means times in there, right? X, Y means X times Y. True? Yeah. Also, it's, it's multiplication. I can reorganize anything I want to in multiplication. So I could write it as X, X, X times Y, Y. Absolutely. Is that okay with you? Go from there to there? Just kind of reorganizing some stuff. Now, can you write, so x, 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 y, 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 just wrote them a little bit different. What's x, x, x? Sure, x to the third. Very good. What's y, y, y? Now, I just proved something to you uh, by, by an example. But I've proved to you that if you have a product that's inside of an exponent. That expo a product, mind you, not a plus, okay, not a plus, not a minus, but a product. That exponent goes to both the first factor and the second factor. It goes to both the x and the y. That's, that's what I'm showing you here. We take both the x to that power and the y to that power. So it's the same numbers? If it was a number, wouldn't it be like one times one times one, it would be one? Why isn't it, why isn't it like y times y times y equal to y? Well, if it was one times one times one, that's a very special number, right? Because you would get one to you would get one to the third power. It's just one to the third power is one. If you have any other number like two, two times two times two, well, that would give you eight. Anything else besides one? If if you plug in one, it still works though. If y was one, you would still get one. To, you'd still get one, right? Anything else, you need to have a, a different situation for that. So two times two times two, you got to be able to represent that. It's that not just one. This works for everything. Else. And you had one more question. Um, instead of variables, if it was a number, it would be the same thing? If you have 4x to the third power, well, that's still being multiplied, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you're going to have 4 to the third, x to the third. It's going to go to everything up there. You got it? Everything's being multiplied. So yeah, you cannot forget about those numbers. That's really actually a really important point. And then 4 to the 3rd, well, you can figure that out. 4 to the 3rd is 4 times 4 times 4. How much is that? 64. That would be 64 x cubed. So the power of a product property says that a power is basically distributed across multiplication inside of parentheses. One big note I must have you put on your paper right now. So even if you're comfortable with this, great. Uh, you won't be comfortable with, with this until I tell you. This is never true. This is never, ever true. Ever, ever true. 
that exponent will not go across addition. Do you see the difference between this problem and this problem? Yeah, this one, well, that's that plus right there. That's a product. That's a multiplication. This doesn't happen. Okay, so write this on your paper, but then cross that out because it's not equal. We're going to talk about the, how to do this in the next section. I'll show you how to do that. Right now, it's a little bit past this. I just want to make sure you see it. I'm previewing it right now. That way, when we get here, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. Well, 4 to the third is 64. You do 4 times 4 times 4, and you're going to get 64. But you don't add the exponents. That's why I'm like, wouldn't you add the 3 or the? Yeah, that's what it does. How am I getting x to the third? But when you're doing that, no, the 4x to the third, okay. you don't add the exponents. We are. We are. Uh, here, here's the deal with this, all right? 4x to the third is 4x times 4x times 4x. Can you guys make it that far? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then this is 4 times 4 times 4 times x times x times x. Agree? Got it. What's 4 times 4 times 4? 64 to the third power? Not 64 to the third. You're either going to get 64 or 4 to the third. That's one or the other. Yeah, e either one. I don't care what you put. If you want to represent this, you could represent it as 4 to the third power. True? Yes. 4 times 4 times 4 is 4 to the third power. Or 64. It's the same. It's the same thing. Got it. But now, how do you represent x times x times x? x and That's how we're getting x to the third. But there, why are not adding the two threes together and getting 4x to the third power? Because four is the same power. They're not the same. With the four. You're not the same base. Yeah. Right. You're not the not same really base. It'd be like saying this. It's like saying. Right here. Yeah, they both have to be the same base, bless you. So right here, you can't add those threes together because well, they're not both x's. When you write that out, I, I've shown you it's x times x times x, y times y times y. There's no way to combine that and say, well, how are you going to do x to x x x y y y and get x to the sixth or y? That doesn't work. You can't combine them. Does that make sense to you? You can't put them together if you don't have a common base. Those were great questions. Did that, is that clear everything up for you? Yeah. Yeah. But this this is brand new to a lot of you. So if you have questions, by all means, you know, ask. Are there any other ones? You sure. So at this point, do you feel okay that when I have a product inside of a power, it not only goes to the first one, but it also goes to the second one? After that, you're, you you can't really do much with that. I mean, here, yes, you can because four is a number. Four to the third power is sixty-four, but you can't combine the four and the x back again. You're not going to make four x to the third, four x to the sixth. You can't add that together because you don't have those common bases. So far, so good? So you like to practice a couple more examples? Yes. Okay, here it is in general. Any product, including numbers, including variables, any product being raised to an exponent is the first factor to that exponent times the second factor to the exponent. That's how you do it in general. That's what we've done for the first two examples up here. Is that the answer x in times y in? That's the formula. That would be the, the way you do this in general, just like this was a formula, that one's a formula. It's telling you how to do it in, in general. Let's practice this with a couple examples and we'll see how to do it, okay? Only if you have a product inside of your parentheses, very good. If you have a plus or a minus, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work. Okay, only if you have a times, a multiplication inside there. Now let's look at 5t to the third power. 5t to the third. Do you have a product inside there? Yeah. You have something times something? Five times C. Five times C. And that's all being raised to the third power, right? Mm -hmm. What this says, it says if you have something being multiplied, which we do, we got that. You're going to take the first thing to the power and the second thing to the power. That's what, that's what this says to do. So when you have 5t to the third, can you tell me what the next thing I should write is? Uh, five times five times five. Sure. Or 5 to the third times how much? T to the third. T to the third. Do you have to show this stuff? No, you don't. If you want to for right now to help you out, okay. 
but we should be able to go directly from here all the way to there now. Directly from here all the way to there. Now directly from here to here. You're taking the 5 to the third power times the t to the third power. Both of those factors are getting raised to the third power. Are you sure you're okay with it? Mm -hmm. You don't have to put the time symbol, right? No. No, it's implied that that's, that's being multiplied right there. Now, could you do 5 to the third power? In fact, your calculator will do that for you, because some of these numbers are going to be pretty big. Here's how you do that. Press the 5. You're going to have a button on your calculator, calculator that looks like this. That button, or this button, or this button, or this button. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's typically one of those four buttons. Have you found one of these buttons on your calculator? Yeah. So you press 5. Then you press one of these buttons, then you press three, five, one of these, then three, and then you press enter, it should give you 125. How many people have calculators? Richard, keep them up. How many people were able to find 125? Okay, if you, if, okay good. That's everybody. So this is 125. Now, wait a second. What about the T? Can you do anything with the T? No. You don't know what T is, so it's going to stay T to the third. Okay, try one on your own to make sure you really have this down. Then I'm going to start ramping this up a little bit and give you some more exciting uh, examples. So I need you to get rid of, get rid of the parentheses. You gotta use the property to do it. Did you get down? Hopefully in your paper you realize that there's two things in here that have to go to the fourth power. There's a 3 to the fourth, there's a b to the fourth. Did you get that? Yeah. Hey, by the way, if I had another thing in here, such as a y to the fourth, would I have to have anything else on the end of that? Yeah. yeah. I would have a y to the fourth. It means everything in there. So if it was b, 3 times b times y, I'd also have a y to the fourth. Do you got it? Yeah, yeah. Everything's being multiplied gets <laughs> exponented. Do you want to say that? It's power. Did you just add that one? Well, that more. Just wanted to make sure you saw that. Okay. Now we're going to take the three to the fourth any numbers. We'd like to go ahead and find the value for those. So three to the fourth power, three times three times three times three, or nine 81. times nine, you're getting eighty-one. And that's as far as we can make it on that problem. You're you're done. Did you get that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, you got to watch the next few kind of, kind of intensely because these can throw people for a loop. Is there anything we haven't done? No, no, no. It's all stuff we, we've just accomplished, but now we're going to tie it all together. Are you ready for it? Are you sure you're ready for it? Are there any questions before we get going on it? All right. <laughs>